What up guys, it's me Stray Love and this is Life in the Car Part 7 and I am actually recording from my iPad so that means I'm not recording on this phone and that means the quality is actually better than in the other past six videos but you know trying to level it up some um, a lot has happened this week. A lot has happened this week. Um, especially something that has made me think that, you know, there are going to be times when you lose a friend over some stupid shit and you know it's like I mean it, it depends on how real it is it could be like super real and it can be super real small but like even though if you had a friend that you've been friends with for almost four years please do not throw them away just like that because like I understand that like yeah okay this is what my friend did so I'm actually copying her <laughs> like I understand that this is th th this is your friend and she's over here being mad and angry and hurt all at the same time and so she's like throwing all this on you because you're the one that created it and you're over here trying to solve it, make it better, so doing something, apologizing, you know, and you just keep going back and forth and you're going against each other and it's not really getting resolved, it's getting more worse and, and you two are getting like hurt, like whether either you're the one that did something wrong or you're the one on the opposite side. Both of you are going to get hurt. Like, if you're really good friends, both of you are going to get hurt from each other. And even though it could be a misunderstanding or just a natural problem, then, like, at least give time a chance to work things out. Because, you know, if life's too short and you just gotta make the best of it of what you can but yeah I don't know I figure I do a little rant today there's this car I'm at my mom's work again, as you can tell. I'm trying to fix this bracelet. Yeah, okay. I think I got it. Haha, -ha, it's the pink one. It's so pretty. <laughs> but yeah. Um, some of my friends have been asking if I was ever going to do another Spyro or at least like another game in the process sometime I might I might not it depends how very productive I am and how not lazy I am that day and like it depends like if it's a really good game then yeah I will play it but if it if it's just something that bores me, like Spyro is a good game, but it makes me because there's like it's so straightforward and there's nothing to really talk about. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff to talk about, but there's nothing to like really, you know, like help or with anything. It's just you're watching me do a let's play, and I understand, and so on and so forth. But. I don't know, to me, it's a little boring if, one, I'm not doing it with anyone else, or two, if it just goes along 
just like that, like, a complete storyline without any trouble, it's very linear, then, you know, that's probably going to bore me, so, yeah, that's why I haven't actually played Spyro in a long time, except for, like, those two videos, but, you know, hey, um, I will, I am actually thinking about doing a game, and I'm actually thinking on, because everyone knows that The Sims 4 came out, which I don't get what the big deal is about, um, those 89 things I heard that was included in, I'm not really sure on the whole perspective our concept because I didn't really look into it but mostly like I don't really care for that I only play for like I just want to like make my own story if that makes sense I don't know but I'll probably be doing a game let's play of the sims 3 for the ps3 so and probably trying to like do a background and a story and stuff like that. So it'll be really good, I guess. <laughs> At least we'll see how it goes. And yeah. I don't really know what I really want to talk about, but <sighs> over this past weekend, I've just lost a really close friend of mine. And it's been almost a week, and I'm actually pretty, for the most part, I'm already over it. I just don't want to think about it anymore. But, you know, I mean, it was my fault, so. Even though I wasn't the one that was. Contacted first. Yeah. I have nothing to say about that. And I'm not going to say anything about it. Because you know why? I don't have to. But. Personal problems. Personal problems. And I'm not going to go into that. But yeah. But if you have a friend. And you cherish that friend. If you're not together right now, I want you to just send them a message or give them a call just stating that you care about them and you miss them and you're grateful for them being in your life. That's what I want you to do. So go ahead right now. And then message me below any advice you would like to give me for my problems. But anyway, yeah, this Life in the Car 7 is pretty boring. I don't really have that much to talk about. So, you know, it's just whatever. But I guess I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you stay somewhere safe. And have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Bye-bye.